I, like anybody else, want to have a better future, want to change my circumstances so that my tomorrow can be better than my today. You know what you actually need to do in order to improve is doing things. You have to learn by doing. It doesn't help you in any way if you're just consuming content after content about how to be better. Because for you to actually be better, you have to put them into practice and then you have to fail a thousand and one times so that you can learn. And failure actually makes you learn a lot and it makes you stronger. And so to really remove myself from this rapid hole of just consuming self-help content listening to podcasts here and there and feeling like oh my god today it's gonna be better and there's nothing that i've done i challenged myself to use my skills to do something and then try and learn so i actually started a tiktok account and started talking about my life experience in france and that is one of the most important choices that i actually made in my life because it has built me professionally and also personally in professional terms it has actually made me a better storyteller a better communicator a better marketer because now i am putting this strategies that I learned in school into practice. It also made it very clear for me that I actually like content creating and I want to do this for the rest of my life amongst other things because I actually like being in front of the camera. I like sharing my ideas and finding different points of view. I always wanted to be a news anchor, a journalist. I even went to school to study that for my first degree. I studied film production, radio production, TV production and I realized I actually don't want to work as a journalist because I just don't like how you're not supposed to have an opinion that's why this youtube channel is actually the perfect thing for me because i get to share my ideas i also get to explore other ideas i've also learned that i'm very much interested in how human beings think in how human beings behave and what informs human behavior that is psychology and sociology and actually this is also very important in marketing because marketing is actually about influencing or trying to change people's behaviors i've also had to ask myself questions about whether i want to work in a corporate environment does it serve me does it help me grow because now i know exactly how i want to use my skills in my career how i want to impact people i'm not interested in just sitting in an office building a company's brand that actually doesn't care about people doesn't care about how it impacts people lives that's why me doing my own thing makes much more sense definitely not easy but it's definitely fulfilling i've also gotten comfortable with failing you know with creating at times you create something and you think this is going to hit and then it doesn't <laughs> You feel like it's a stab but actually it happens so many times until you actually get used to it it's part of the learning process and in turn this has taught me about self-worth because at first i used to actually think that the more views i get the more worthy i am or my value lies in the amount of followers and likes that i have i'm valuable as i am because i know the amount of work that i put into my work there are times that you will do something and it doesn't work but it doesn't mean that i am not qualified because again i have proof of so many instances where whatever it is that I have done has actually worked. So I've also learned to try not to define myself based on things that I actually cannot control. Things like views and comments and shares and followers on social media, I cannot control that. It's actually pointless to try and measure myself based on that because there's so many factors that go into all of that. And on a personal level, what I've really learned from creating almost every single day on TikTok for a very long time is that it's okay to try different things. It's okay to always change your mind i mean i've really tried so many things while trying to find my niche i've shared my experiences living in france shared about brand storytelling at some point shared about some sociological perspectives that i have about the society we live in i've also talked about luxury handbags then now i've actually found something that i actually want to focus on which is learning about menstrual health so it has actually been a journey and i have developed so much confidence in myself because i realize i have such great ideas and it's actually good to to put them into practice so that you can actually know whether they work or not the one thing that is always holding a lot of creatives back is that we have so many ideas then we get stuck up in being like oh my god which idea is good which one is bad but you see what you will never know which idea works until you actually put it into practice most of the times we don't want to do that because we are also afraid of failing what if the idea doesn't work so what at least just go out there put it out there if it doesn't work you don't have to sit down there with anxiety and being like oh my god I need to do this, I need to do this. Just do it. And it's okay if it fails because you can always move on to the next idea because you know what, you will never run out of ideas. Something else that I'm also learning is filming in front of people. I am an extreme introvert and let me tell you, it's really like a taste on my part it's really scary i mean not just being around people but also <laughs> filming <sighs> One of my plans for this channel is actually to have vlogs. 
I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but it's something that I have to do sometime in the future. <laughs> It's one thing that I have to do in order to grow. And again, you see, it wouldn't make sense if I just go on YouTube and be like, how to get comfortable filming in front of people. You can watch a thousand and one videos about that. You can read a thousand and one books about that. But it won't help you if you actually don't go out there and film in front of people and go through all that anxiety and the embarrassment. <laughs> perhaps you will die a few times but you know what if you continue doing so after some time you'll get the hang of it after some time you just be like who cares what anyone thinks of me <laughs> and those are just few things that i have actually learned from doing so if you are someone who is also stuck in that trap of consuming self-help content you should try doing things and they say do it scared because it's never easy so you have to push yourself to go for it and you have to trust yourself actually one of the things you will learn by doing is trusting yourself more and trusting your ideas which is a great thing it is not working at first but after a few months you will thank yourself for actually going for it and not making excuses